in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. I welcome you this morning in a special way as we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And of course, our intentions for the Mass this morning, we pray for birthday blessings for Kyle Still, for Brian Randall for healing, for Janet Elias and Jamil Patik. We pray for Janet Alder and Junior Ross for healing, God's protection for Tricia Andrew, special intentions for Gabriel Awong, Francis and Joshua John, for Jay Supersad and Andir Pusad Maharaj. We also pray for God's blessings for Talia Owen and family, for all the elderly, the sick and suffering in our homes. We pray for each one of them in a special way this morning. And we also pray for God's protection over all our pregnant women in the world, and by extension, Trinidad and Tobago. For all expectant women, that God will continue to protect each one of them from COVID-19. And we also pray for deceased Kathleen Hunt, for Luke Tadjin, for Furiza Singh, and Leela Lapart. So these are the intentions of the Mass this morning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this great solemnity of our Blessed Mother, we know that we are sinners before Him, and so we come to God asking for His mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us all sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul in heavenly glory, grant we pray that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside it. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman adorned with the sun, standing on the moon, and with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labor, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. Then a second sign appeared in the sky, a huge red dragon which had seven heads and ten horns, and each of the seven heads crowned with a coronet. Its tail dragged a third of the stars from the sky and dropped them to the earth. And the dragon stopped in front of the woman as she was having the child so that he could eat it as soon as it was born from its mother. The woman brought a male child into the world, the son who was to rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And the child was taken straight up to God and to his throne, while the woman escaped into the desert where God had made a place of safety ready. Then I heard a voice from the heaven, victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ. Word of the Lord. The response to the song. The resurrection of the dead has come through one man. 
Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits, and then after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death, for everything is to be put under his feet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zachariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in a home, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your home. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? From the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my home leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior because he has looked upon her lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has rooted the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, and of his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months, and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord and may the words of the Gospel cleanse us from our sins. Amen. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I welcome you in a special way this morning on this the solemnity of the Assumption. And for those of you who are viewing us live online, I thank you for your presence and for your prayers. 
My dear brothers and sisters, what a wonderful feast, what a wonderful celebration, what a wonderful solemnity this morning in the Catholic Church. To know that our Blessed Mother is in heaven and she is seated at the right hand of God, interceding on our behalf. My dear friends, Mary's role in salvation history is impeccable. And she is not our Savior, but the mother of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. You know, sometimes you would hear different perspectives out there that people would say what we do not say. Well, in the Catholic Church, we do not say that Mary is the Savior. We do not say that. She is not our Savior, but the mother of the Savior, Jesus Christ. So there is a distinction there. Because, you see, some people try to confuse the whole thing and say in the Catholic Church, Mary is the Savior, and they worship Mary, and they see Mary as Jesus. Well, there is a distinction. She is not the Savior, but the mother of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is very important, that she is the mother. And for this, we praise her for her cooperation with the action of the Holy Spirit. Her role as mother is to point us to her son, Jesus Christ. And that's her role. Is to point us to Jesus, her son. And her yes resounds with gladness in our hearts. In that we too have the capacity to answer yes to what God may ask of us or what God calls us to. The solemnity of the Assumption, my dear friends, celebrates Mary's going up to heaven. So let us make the difference. Jesus ascended into heaven by himself, by his divine power. He ascended into heaven. What do we celebrate today? The Assumption. Mary was assumed into heaven. What do I mean? Mary was taken up, body and soul, not by her own strength, but by the power of God. And that's what we believe in the Catholic Church. And that's why we celebrate the Assumption today. And when you really think about it, my friends, because there's no way that the Blessed Mother can be in hell. There's no way. She's in heaven. And she was taken up to heaven, body and soul, by the power of God. And that is our faith. And that is what we believe. Now the church gives us readings to help us better understand what we are celebrating this morning. And our first reading from the book of Revelation, it recounts the vision of the acts of the covenant in heaven. And the woman clothed with the sun. And many biblical scholars would say that the woman signifies Mary. And after delivering her baby, she suffered a great tribulation from which God protected her and her offspring. So even from that vision, we get a sense of what is going on, that she was chosen from the very beginning. And right from the patristic era, the Blessed Virgin Mary has been associated with the Act of the Covenant. And that is bearing Christ the fullness of God's new covenant. And that is important that we understand. Even in the second reading this morning, 
Paul recalls the resurrection of Christ and its importance for us believers. And our hope, my dear friends, lies in the fact that Christ, who himself was resurrected by the Father, will also facilitate our resurrection at this appointed time. But the question is for us this morning, did Christ leave his mother and his first disciple behind? Indeed not. For he promised his disciples, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me, that you also may be where I am. The words of Jesus, words of consolation, words of hope for each one of us. So what we celebrate today is a promise fulfilled in its most excellent, honorable, and adorable fashion. Christ protected not only the soul of his mother, conceived without sin, but also her incorruptible body. That is important. That's what we are celebrating today. That Christ, an amazing God, he protected not only the soul of his mother Mary, but also her incorruptible body. And what do we see in the gospel from Luke? Mary, his mother, without regard to herself, goes to her cousin Elizabeth. And their meeting, we are told, was joyful. Elizabeth is filled with happiness as she acknowledges her privilege of being seen by the mother of her Lord, a beautiful visage that touched her heart. As a matter of fact, my friends, the baby inside her womb, we are told, leapt for joy at this greeting. And then Mary, we are told, sings a song of praise and thanksgiving to God, and that we refer to as the Magnificat, a song that we know very well. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Uh, we heard this song for the entrance hymn this morning. Only Mary, born without the stain of sin, could give birth to Christ, fully God and fully human. Mary is the first to receive the fullness of redemption that the Son has won for all of humanity. And the church, therefore, this morning, recognizes Mary as the sign of the salvation promised to all. Very important for us. And so on, on this solemnity of the Assumption, what can we learn from our Blessed Mother. We can learn humility. We can learn a life of faith. We can learn a life of hope. Love for God and others. And of course, when we look at Mary, she was a woman of few words. And we can also learn from her endurance and great courage. She who endured a situation that was completely out of her control endures with faith, endurance. And so my friends, as we celebrate the Assumption this morning on this rainy Sunday, we thank God for the blessings. Let us also keep in mind that our lives need to be assumed into the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness, and forgiveness as we go on. Our lives need to be consumed into the fruits of the Spirit. Today, we pray that through the intercession of Mary, our mother, our hearts may be transformed. And what do we see? We see that these fruits of the Spirit are some of the things 
that characterize the mother of our Lord and our spiritual mother as well. So we are very happy. It gives us great joy to know that our Blessed Mother is in heaven and she can intercede for each one of us in a special way. This, this is joy. We must praise God. We must be grateful because we have a spiritual mother who is looking after us, her children. And her role is not to dominate. Her role is not to take over. Her role is to point us to Jesus Christ. That's her role. To remind us that when we are broken, when we are in pain, when we are struggling, when things are not going how we planned it, whatever the situation, the situation is in our lives, her role is to say to us, listen, go to him, go to Jesus, he will help you. He will guide you, he will protect you, he will liberate you. And that's the role of our Blessed Mother. And we pray that through her intercession, that Mary will indeed protect all our mothers. And in a special way this morning, all our pregnant expectant mothers from COVID-19. And that is what we are praying for in a special way on the assumption that all pregnant mothers, wherever you are, that Mary will intercede for you for God's protection and God's blessings to protect you from this virus. That you may not experience any kind of complications that you'll be in good health and strength. And we also pray today in a special way for all our elderly persons, wherever they are, in whatever home it may be, that God will guide and protect and give good health to all our elderly persons. We know that when we ask Mary, she will always say yes. She will go to her son and say to him, this is the situation here, help us. And I know in faith that Jesus will never say no to his mother. So you must understand, my friends, what a wonderful feast we celebrate today, a wonderful solemnity. It is wonderful because just to know that Mary is in heaven and she was assumed body and soul, not by herself, but by the power of God. And she is there interceding for every single Christian, no matter who you are, for every single one of us. We pray for the grace today that we will place our confidence and trust in her son, Jesus Christ, who is the savior of the world. Amen? Amen. And so as we always do, my dear friends, we will just sing a few songs of praise to God. Mary sang her praises to God. My soul magnifies the Lord. Today, we're going to do it in our own Caribbean way. Sing praises to God. Stand up and tell me if you love my Jesus. Wherever you are, I ask you to please stand as we sing praises to our God. Stand up and tell me if you love my Jesus. Stand up and tell me if you love my Lord. I want to know, I want to know, if you love my Lord. Stand up and tell me, stand up and tell me if you love my Jesus. Stand up and tell me if you love my Lord. I want to know, I want to know, if you love my Lord. I never get weary yet, I never get weary yet. I never get weary yet. I never get weary praising the Lord. I never get weary yet. I never get weary yet. I never get weary yet. I never get weary praising the Lord. I never get weary yet. See what the Lord has done for us. See what a mighty God He is. See what the Lord has done for us. See what a mighty God he is. The walls are tumbling. The walls are tumbling. The walls are tumbling. So let's praise his holy name. The walls are tumbling. The walls are tumbling. The walls are tumbling. 
soul, let's praise his holy, praise his holy name, praise his holy name, praise his holy name, praise his holy name, so let's praise his holy name. So Lord, we just give you thanks this morning for the assumption of the Lord. We give you praise, we give you honor, we worship you God in your house. You were with us on this face of the assumption. We just lift your name on high and we thank you that Mary is with you in heaven. And so Lord, we just thank you this morning as we give you praise and worship in your house. The reason that we leave is to worship you, Lord. The reason that we are alive is to worship you in your house. When I look at you, yes, Lord. of the assumption we lift your name on high Jesus and we thank you that you have us uh, enabled our mother to be part of your presence in heaven and so we thank you for the faith and for the love of our blessed mother as so Lord we know that you are majestic your majesty on high so Lord, we just welcome you among us, majesty, your majesty. majesty. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Just 
thank you. We praise you, God. And so we just thank you for our Blessed Mother today. Her faith. Her life of hope. Her love for God and for one another. A woman of endurance who pondered everything in her heart. Today we thank you for giving us a spiritual mother. A mother who cares for her children. A mother who knows what is best for her children. Who wants to help us. Who wants to intercede for us. And so we ask you, Lord, that your spirit, that same spirit that you poured on our Blessed Mother, will rain on us this morning. That spirit will rain on us this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Rain in me, in Jesus. We give you praise, God. We give you praise, God. Rain in me. Rain in me. We give you praise, of God. In me. surrounds us. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rain. Hallelujah. Rain. Oh, receive the Spirit of God. Rain. We magnify your name, oh God. We worship you, God. We lift your name on high. Rain in us, Lord. Rain. this morning we just thank you we lift your name on high welcome Holy Spirit in our midst this morning we we'll welcome you in the name of Jesus welcome Holy Spirit welcome Holy Spirit receive open your hands and receive your blessings the Spirit is with us church Hallelujah. Receive the Spirit. The Spirit of God is with us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Feel us.
And so we can feel the Spirit of God. Feel the Spirit of God. Live inside, live inside of us. As alone, we give a praise. Feel us with your power. Live inside of us. As alone, we just give a praise. Just lift your voices, O God. We give a praise, Almighty God. We worship you, God. We magnify your name, O oh Jesus. We lift your name on high, O oh God. We worship you, God. We give you praise, Almighty God. You're worthy. You are able. You're worthy to be praised in the city of our God. We lift your name on high, O oh God. We worship you. We exalt you. You magnify you. We give you praise in your house, O oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we continue with our, with our creed as we profess our faith. I believe in one Lord, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we bring our petitions before our God. to hear the call of God, to serve and answer it with generosity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the leaders of this nation, that they may find inspiration in the gospel and so promote truth, justice and unity throughout the land. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have received the call to serve, that the Holy Spirit may bless them with the courage to say yes 
and strengthen their resolve to walk freely and joyfully in the path of God's commandments. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all gathered here, that we make a commitment to our own personal growth, value that same personal growth in every member of our church family, and journey together to become more so than ever the family of God, the body of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Holy Spirit may unite us in mutual love and respect and help us grow ever more obedient after the example of the Virgin Mary, our Mother. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the sick, shut-ins, and the lonely, that through the intercession of Mary, our Mother, you may bless them with your healing love and presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For our departed relatives and friends, especially those who were devoted to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, that you may bring them into the light of your divine glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the grace to bring our own needs before God. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Of course, we pray for the intentions of the Mass this morning. We pray for both the blessings for Kyle Steele, for healing for Brian Randall, Janet Elias, and Jamil Patik. We pray for Johnny Alda and Junior Ross, for God's protection for Tricia Andrew, special intentions for Gabriel Awong. Francis and Joshua John, for Jay Supersad and Andir Prasad Maharaj. We also pray for God's blessings for Talia Owen and family, and for all our elderly persons in our elderly homes. We pray for all of them in a special way this morning. God will protect them and bring fresh blessings on this solemnity. We also pray for protection from COVID-19 for all expectant women, for all pregnant women in the world, and by extension, of course, Trinidad and Tobago, that God will bless, protect, and guide. We also pray for deceased Kathleen Hunt, Luke Tadjin, Feroza Singh, and Lala Lapat Ray. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers and grant what we ask in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, Lord, and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you. We make our prayer for Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your churches coming to perfection and a sign of show hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the offer of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord, our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, and he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, O Lord, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you, Lord, in thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Jason, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Merciful Father, listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have sermoned before you. In your compassion, guard to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at your passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we can say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Lord, is now and forever. Lord Jesus the Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that they should enter under my roof, but all this say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
how great is our God. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may, brought, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. We make our prayer for Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so, my dear friends, I thank you on behalf of your cluster of priests and your deacons to wish each one of you in a special way today a blessed solemnity as we celebrate this special moment in the life of the church the solemnity of the assumption of our blessed mother so I, I, I greet you with blessings this morning, fresh anointing, fresh blessings to each one of you in a special way. And of course, for those who ensure that our celebration continued, sharing the gifts and the talents with us this morning, coming from Laser 4 and Vista Bella this morning, sharing the readings and intercessions, and we have the Walters family leading us in song and praise. Thank you for your ministries. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is a, a special blessing today on the solemnity i should give you that blessing this morning so after each invocation you will say amen bow your hands may god who through the childbearing of the blessed virgin mary willed in her great kindness to redeem the human race be pleased to enrich you with his blessing amen, amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her to whom you have been found worthy to receive the offer of life. Amen. Amen. May you who have devoutly guarded on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed and safe day, everyone.